I, I have to hang up now. <laughs> it's long distance, very expensive. Give my love to the family. And you take care of yourself, all right, dear? Bye-bye. Oh, hello, darling. I didn't see you. How long have you been there? Not long. Who were you talking to? Why do you want to take me away from the man I love? What you overheard isn't in the least bit sinister. Yeah, well, who were you talking to? I was talking to Aunt Rose in Bristol. No. No, I was telling her how worried I've been about you. I mean, all this Bryn Wid business. Well, now I know you are up to something. What do you mean? Well, because Dad was the only one that worried about me and told me to take care of myself. He let me do pretty much anything I wanted to. Well, as long as you were home by tea, and you always were. <laughs> Look, I never had to worry about you until now. Oh, please don't. I'm an adult. You're my baby. And you're my only child. You're looking so tired and drawn. I want to take you away for a few days. Just, just the two of us. We can go to a luxury spa. My treat. You'll put the roses back in those beautiful cheeks. Take the worry lines away from your eyes. What do you say? Will, will you come with me? To anything I'm just I'm just thinking about you oh I know I'm sorry I it's this whole period of my life that's missing basically it's driving me crazy and that you know the more time I spend with you I realize we don't know each other very well do we I mean wouldn't you say that was true so now we're going to make up for lost time, is that it? Oh, thank goodness. Am I that transparent? <laughs> no, you're far from it. In fact, you're... Oh, I don't know what to say. That. What? What? Go on. I won't uh, break. You're more like frosted glass. You know, you're impossible to see into. Mm. Unlike your father. Yes, I remember you climbing into his lap and curling up like a little kitten, perfectly content. Oh. It's true. I missed out on a lot when... You were growing up. I mean, having to work, it's not an excuse, but uh, that was the sacrifice that I made oh, for you. And well, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not crying over spilt milk. I don't think I've ever seen you cry over anything, quite frankly, even when Dad died. Well, darling, we all mourn in different ways. But life, as they say, goes on. And although <laughs> I see more of it behind me than there is in front of me at the moment... You're not ill, are you? No, no, I'm not ill. I'm just, uh... Well, I'm, I'm just sick at heart, really, for all the missed opportunities. Sasha, I don't, I don't want to look into the eyes of a stranger. 
stranger. I want to be part of your life. And if you'll let me. Look, I realize that a few weeks together are not going to make up for the neglect. And I'm... I'm going to ask you most... most humbly if you'll... if you'll give your old mum a second chance. That wasn't so hard, was it? It was, uh... It was. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. into the ocean. I didn't try to kill myself. I knew you wouldn't. But there was, there was your robe at the, at the edge of the ocean. There was a robe left, but I didn't leave it. Who would be so cruel to do something like that? The people who abducted me on orders from Alex's mother, Charlotte Devane. talking crazy. I know exactly what I'm saying. We're talking about the same Charlotte Devane, right? Yes. Charlotte Devane, who lives in a cottage in Bristol. Yes. Charlotte Devane, who grows mint in her country garden. Charlotte. Charlotte Devane. The head of Alex conspiracy. And Alex is at the center of it. Edmund, listen to me. Charlotte was the brains behind Bryn Wood. You knew about Bryn Wood. I was a prisoner there. I was in a coma for months. I saw you. I thought they gave me an injection. I was drugged up. I thought I dreamed you. I know. I saw you too. Just before Charlotte ordered the demolition, I thought you died. Listen to me. No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Charlotte had me taken up in a private plane. The pilot's orders were to fly below radar, then push me out without a parachute. She thinks I'm dead. Next, she'll be coming after Alex. Well, Sash, what's it going to be? Shall I telephone the spa in Arizona and make the reservation? <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Merrick, but the children have been begging it for you ever since they The gorgeous one. Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello, should we have a little hug sandwich? You want to be in the middle? Who wants to be peanut butter and jelly? You do, you do, you do. No smiling now, because this is serious, you know, this sandwich making. These must be Edmund. Yes, they are. Yes, this is Sam, I am. And this is Miss Maddie. Say hello, this is my mother all the way from England. You want to give her a hug, hello? Huh? It's all right, darling. Oh, I mean, children should be wary of strangers. Yeah, I suppose so. Have they had a snack? Maybe they need one up. Do you want to go down to see Scorpio later home? In the stable? Would you like that? Yeah? Okay. Go on. Go on, have a little snack. I'll see you in a minute, all right? Bye. 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 Okay. They're adorable. They obviously love you. Of course, I'm, uh, I was never very good with children. Don't be so dramatic. No, no, it's quite all right. I mean, you can't, I'm not offended. Oh, they're going to be fine. Just give them a chance to get to know you. 
in the meantime, are we still on for our spa? Off together, just the two of us? Edmund. Edmund. Has Charlotte been in contact with Alex? She's staying at the house as my guest. Dimitri, if half of what you're saying is true about Charlotte, Alex is in terrible danger. We've got to call the police. No, 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 no. Why not? What cop would believe us? You didn't believe anything I said when I mentioned her name. <sighs> okay, there's Derek. Derek knows this from the beginning. There was a stable hand named Guy. One of Charlotte's henchmen. Yeah. He tried to kill Alex, but she shot him, hid the body, it disappeared, and Derek couldn't do Ed, anything Edmund, about it, of course. Edmund, you don't know who all the players are. Charlotte has more than one operative. The, the, uh, the, the, the uh, inspector from Scotland Yard that came by Charlotte's cottage, the one that said he'd look in Bryn Witt, he's on her payroll. Now we have got to do this ourselves. If we are going to save Alex, we have got to do it now. Well, yes, I really would like to come away with you, but I, I, there's, there's all this work at the Andrasti Foundation I need to catch up on, and there's all this other stuff, too, in my life. I, so you're determined to unravel the mystery. Well, what would you do in my position? I mean, really. You know, I, I, I have memories. I remember things that are Anna Devane's. Our, our fingerprints match. I can't just dismiss that, can I? But you're not Anna Devane. You're Alexandra Marrick. I mean, this fingerprint business has to be a mistake. Well, yes, obviously, but I need to know for certain. I need to know who I really am. I know that sounds strange, but it's not just my life that hangs in the balance. There's a child. There's this little girl, Robin. Darling. You have been through so much. I mean, I don't know how you've managed, but I do know that you're heading for a breakdown. No. Would it be so wrong for you to turn your back on all this just for a few days? And then you can come back and face this problem, rested and refreshed. I promise you, Sash, you won't be sorry. I've been stumbling around in the dark for so long, a week or two isn't really going to make much difference, is it? Oh, good. Good, then I'll make the reservations. We'll leave first thing in the morning. You don't think that Charlotte would want to kidnap Alex now and, and take her from Wildwood? Oh, come ahead, man. It's not a chance that we want to take. Not if you love Alex as you do.